Welcome back to the channel. My name is Avon. Welcome back to Local to Global with Tunbridge Angels on FM22. Billerica Town are our opponents in today's video. Six games into our second season. Of course, we are now at Fan Owned Club. We have our new board, but hopefully we can get three points at home today. As always, if you're enjoying the series, drop a like down below and leave comments. If you're watching AFCON at the moment, what's been your highlight so far? I think the Camorra and left back playing in goal. Uh, has got to be up there for me. Like, they didn't even lose by that much, Comoros. 2-1. And they were down to 10 men as well. Definitely put up a fight. If you haven't done so already, or if you're new, then subscribe and turn notifications on. Let's jump into today's video, episode 12, with the Angels. So last episode, we had our first game of the second season. We lost at home to Welling, two goals to one. Probably didn't deserve to lose. I think we were probably the better team actually on the night, but just didn't take our chances. And we didn't have as much possession as I would have liked. But, um, you know, we got an early goal, but then uh, Candy scored two goals to give Welling the lead and they left with all three points. Before we go through the five games that happened off camera, let's show you um, some more signings were made. What I didn't mention in the last episode was that these players have also all left at the end of their contracts. Arthur Lee, O'Sullivan, Olatado, Brian Barrett, Smith, Joseph, Hudson and O'Hara all left. Jamie O'Hara actually retired. So those guys all left and I didn't even mention them. So they're no longer here. But we have three more players that we've signed. First up, we have George Sheridan, uh, the much needed defensive midfielder. He's on loan from Aldershot Town, 20 years of age. And I think looks fairly solid. Tackling of 11 is not too bad. His first touch and his passing are fairly decent. Decision making is all right. He's got good balance. Not very strong, but hopefully he can do a job as that uh, sort of defensive midfielder. Jack Sims is our new backup goalkeeper. He was in the Blackpool youth team, played a couple of games for Welling. He's joined us. He's on £190 a week, but he's going to be our backup goalkeeper to John Henley. And lastly, this is Craig Fazenmade. Fazenmade, I'm not quite sure how that's pronounced. He's a right winger. He's come in from Worldstone. A very recent signing. Hasn't played a game for us yet. Might make his debut today because Courtney Watson's been very, very poor. And Ricky Modest has left the club, but he's got good pace, good off the ball, the technicals aren't amazing, but yeah, we're just trying to get whatever plays we can at the moment, really, just to try and fill out those squad numbers. So with those three players brought in, we played five games off camera. Let's see what happened. Yanni. And he takes the ball away from Bolton, finds the cross. Howls with a header across the face of goal, but cleared. Free kick here for Wallstone, and it's a clear effort for Gavin. And Wallstone take a 1-0 lead with three minutes to go in the first half. Free kick here for the Angels. Beer with it. Bellas with a free header, but good save by Baptiste. Header forward by Muir. And a long ball finds Slow. And can he beat the goalkeeper? No, it's a simple save really for Henley. Corner here for Dartford. Darling. And Boateng with the header. And Dartford lead at Longmead Stadium. 54th minute. And Tunbridge just can't seem to get anything right at the moment. Corner for Dartford. Darling. 10 minutes to go. And Tunbridge need to try and get back into this game. They're ahead. Oh, good effort by Sonopay, but great save by Henley. Long ball finds Woods. And he's just got the goalkeeper to beat here. And the keeper's well off his line. And Woods with an easy finish. Dover take a 1-0 lead with 20 minutes on the clock. Parkinson back to Clements. And the ball over the top is a good ball. And Greg Lewis gets on the end of it. And he gets his first Tunbridge goal on the hour. And it's an equaliser. Dover 1, Tunbridge 1. Parkinson to Sheridan, Jamie Fielding, and Joe Turner on the end of this, and he's been brought down. It's a penalty for Tunbridge. Well, as it stands, Tunbridge might leave the coast uh, with their first points of the season. Will they leave with all three? Joe Turner's penalty is not good. Straight at Horlick. Free kick here for Hornchurch, the newly promoted side. It's Abbey, and looking for Ram. Doesn't get there. Loft with a push. Penalty? That seems a bit soft to me. Penalty's been given. I think it was a soft one, but Hornchurch with a chance to take a lead here inside five minutes. It's ready. It's in. 1-0 Hornchurch with a soft penalty there, I think. Bellis. Back to Bradley Green. Bradley Green to Lua. That's a great ball. Courtney Watson with the volley, and it hasn't taken long for Tumbridge to equalise. Barely a minute, and it's one goal apiece. Barnum Bob with a throw, and here's Tom Beer. Bob gets it back. He's got a bit of space here. Here's Bellis. 
Barn and Bob with a cross. Lewis with a header. It's in. Tunbridge 2. Hornchurch 1. 65th minute. Can Tunbridge get their first win of the season? Brown to Payne. Payne goes long. Good header by Harris. Here's Moyer. And he's beating the keeper. It is Slough 1. Tunbridge nil. 55 minutes gone. Tunbridge just keep going behind in these games. And they can't afford to keep doing it. Fielding. Might be able to have a shot at goal here, but it's been forced out wide, but brought down on the edge of the box by Brown. Tunbridge get a penalty. Well, with no Joe Turner in the squad, Greg Lewis takes the penalty and converts it. It is one goal apiece. Can Tunbridge get a valuable point here on the road? Richards to England. Good interception there by Bolton. It's Joe Turner, and he sent Greg Lewis on the way. And in the 92nd minute, Greg Lewis has... Maybe won it for Tunbridge Angels. It's Slough 1, Tunbridge 2. Is it a first away win of the season? A back-to-back -back wins for the Angels. It was back-to-back -back wins. A slow start, as I said. We did lose our first three games and only scored one goal. But after that, we could have won against Dover had uh, Joe Turner converted the penalty. Uh, we're going to win against Horchurch and a win against Slough. So a, a bad first three games, but a much better... Um, second round of three games i guess so we're in 12th place seven points from six games i think this is going to be as tough a season as it was last year again we'll try and have a repeat of last season and try and get into the playoffs again but it's going to be a difficult one but you know we've got a couple of wins in the last two games which is good hopefully we can keep that going uh, looking at a few uh, data bits and pieces we're not really having enough shots per game and you know we're not really scoring enough Defensively, we're slightly above average. Our tackling's not too bad. Our passing's a little bit below average. Looking at our last five games, we're scoring from inside the box, but we haven't scored any of our 20 shots attempted from outside the box. So long shots is a thing that we probably need to be working on. We are a bit exposed on that left-hand side, and that was something that we did notice in that first game against Welling, how much they were actually getting forward on that side. So that may be something that we need to... Uh, to work on because I think our right back is set to automatic and it might be a good idea to maybe put them just on to defend uh, but let's have a look at the team Sam Bellis has not really played too well I think we're going to start Greg Lewis up top because he does have four goals for us so Joe Turner will move back to the left hand side I don't think we need a left sided player because we have Turner Greg Lewis can play there Aaron Blair can play there as well, and Fazamade. I think we've got enough cover there that we should be okay. We haven't really got money to afford another player, so I think we're okay. And I think this is the squad we're going to have now for the rest of the season. is going to make his debut today because Watson really hasn't been playing well. Apart from scoring the goal against um, Hornchurch, he hasn't really done much other than that. Bradley Webb's going to come out of the team. Jack Bolton's going to start. I think that will do for today. Um, we've got a few options here and there on the bench as well. So I think that's what we'll go with. Still with that positive mentality. Um, passing directness, again, a bit more direct. We've got the focus through the middle. Very similar system to the one that we were playing last season. In fact, it's pretty, I think it might be exactly the same. No, it served us well last year. Hopefully it can do so again this season. It was a slow start losing our first three games. But we'll see if we can get some results in our next ones. I said don't let our good runner form end here. Make it a good performance. They don't seem too bothered. They're composed at least, but no massive reactions in the team. Would have liked a little bit more than that. But let's see how the game goes. We're at Longmead Stadium hosting Billareke Town. Let's see if we can get a third win in a row maybe. But we'll, we'll have to see how things go. Joe Turner with a free kick and it's Lua. Turner with the ball back again. he got lots of space here. Lots of red shirts in their final third. Sheridan to Fazem Maid. Sheridan again and it's come back to Fazem Maid and he... He shoots the ball over. I don't know if it's Fazen made or Fazen Made. I don't really know. Might be something I'll have to look into. He is English. He hasn't got any like joint nationality or anything. Maybe try and work out how it, that word's said. McKenna with a clearance away, but only as far as fielding. And we are on top in these early stages. It's all Tunbridge here. Here's Greg Lua. Here's Fazen made debut goal. P bad finish. Straight at the goalkeeper. Either side, and that would be 1 0. 20 minutes gone. Makina here for Billareke and his Carvalho. Inman, who I think has been sent off against us uh, in past games. Not for Billareke, though. I think he may have moved clubs. Alexiev to Carvalho. And, that, and now the Essex side are looking to get forward. Alexiev with the cross. And Sole, or Sol, with the header. Sole. So it's probably Sol. Heads over, but that wasn't a good finish either. Here's Dick Chin. We are going to be calling him Dick Chin for as long as we have him. 
That's just definitely happening. Turner! Long range, but again, speculative. Sheridan. He's been solid. He's on loan from Aldershot Town, and he's done well. Parkinson is still here. He can be good as a backup player, but Sheridan looks like a decent defensive midfielder. Here comes Joe Turner, and he goes back to Bolton. Turner with the ball back again here. Can he find a cross? He goes back to Doug Loft. Here's Sheridan. It's a good spell of possession here. Can we find a goal from it, though? Lua. Oh, we might be able to. It's a good effort. It's on target, which is more than I can say for most of our efforts this game. Throw in here with a Bolton. Here's Doug Loft. Turner. Have a go. Go on. That was, a, again, not a bad effort, but it was off target. Ojo for Bilireke now. Two minutes to go with this first half. Disappointing we haven't scored yet. I think our shooting just needs to be a little bit better. But here's Loft and here's Dick Chin to Lua. And who's going to get to that? Turner. It's a good block by Moore. Turner's going to get to the ball first. That's a good cross. Chin with a shot, but that's blocked. It goes out for a corner. I think we've been dominant in this first half, and it's a shame that hasn't mounted to a goal because we've been playing very well. Header away by Inman. Helped on. Here's Godie. He's got two defenders to beat here. He's been forced out wide, but red shirt's coming forward. Alexiev goes back to Ojo, and that's the end of that run. One more chance before half time, maybe, for either side to break the deadlock. Alexiev with a cross. It's uh, blocked by Miles. Here's Mark Olivier. That's a, not a penalty? Wow. The one that they were given, or the, the one that our opponents were given off camera, was less of a penalty than that was. Half time. We were on top, but we haven't scored. I think we, sh we should have scored. 14 shots, 2 on target. We should be hitting the target a lot more than that. Playing as we are, be disappointed not to win this one. We haven't been amazing, but definitely better than Bilirake have been. I mean, they haven't had a shot on target at all yet, and they've only had three all game. I think a demand more might be in need. We'll see this highlight out first of all. It's like Douglas with the corner, 56th minute, headed away by Inman, his Fazan mate. Loft has got lots of space here. Goes back to Fazan mate. Sheridan. And here's Lua. Clements. Again, possession's good. Just need to try and find a chance from it and, and, and take it and convert it as well. Chin, Lua. Keeping the ball well here. Fazan mate. Chin to Lua. Goes for shot, but it's blocked. Sheridan's going to keep it with us. Come on. One of these has got to find a way through. Sheridan. Oh, we got lucky there. No, we're giving the ball away. That's unfortunate. Right. Demand more. What can we get? Bolton really hasn't done too well. Bradley Webb might have to come on because he's been really, really poor today. Douglas with a corner here. 64 minutes gone. And that's going to be headed away by Ojo. But again, we've got the possession. We're staying on them here. Miles. That's a cross, but it's not going to find a blue shirt. Helped on by Mark Olivier. Here comes Sheridan. Fazan made. Come on. We're running out of time here. A goalless draw would not be a good result here, considering how well we've played. Oh, mistake. And Greg Lewis gets his fifth goal of the season. 65th minute. Finally, deadlock broken. It's been coming. It's definitely been coming. And it, it ended up being a Bilirake error that um, gifted us the goal in the end. Fazan made with the cross. Joe Turner with a header back into the goal. Completely missed header there by uh, the defender. Who was that? Inman. Completely missed the header. And Greg Lua had it on a plate. Now we need to hold on to this lead now. We deserve it. Let's make sure we, we uh, get all three points now. Bradley Webb is on for Jack Bolton. Loft with a corner kick here. Matt midway through the second half. Ojo, simple header away. And here is Bradley Webb. And Loft can maybe put a cross in here. Fielding could. It's Loft. It's Chin. Still looking for his first Tunbridge goal. Fielding shot is blocked. That's going to go out for a throw. Free kick here for Loft. 74 minutes gone. Clement should get that. He does. 2-0 Tunbridge. Kieran Clements gets his first goal of the season. His second for the club since joining in January. And it's looking like three points. It's been a really, really good and strong performance today against Bilireke. I think we had a bit of a slow start of the season, but it looks like we finally found our mojo again. And we lead 2-0 with about 15 minutes to go. I think a praise in the team shouts because this has been really, really good. I think we can look at um, keeping this fresh now. I think Dick Chin's going to come off. Uh, Tom Beer is going to come on. And Barnum Bob is going to come on. Uh, last 10 minutes. Just keeping it fresh out there. Um, Bill and Reke have been really, really poor. Um, they just haven't managed to create anything. 
And we look like we're going to get um, a third win in a row here. 90 second minute. Ojo with the ball here for Bilareke with a throw. May well get a consolation goal here, but they haven't looked like scoring all game. This has been a pretty dominant performance by Tunbridge and a header on target there. Um, but Henley makes a good save. So it looks like it's going to be a clean sheet. That was their first effort on target. Uh, the third goal would really be the cherry on top here, but Lua gives the ball away. And his soul. Horn Haynes and Alexiev, who has maybe been Bilarek's most creative player, which isn't really saying too much. Here's Moore and Godi. Shots blocked, but it was a offside anyway. And that is the four time whistle. Tunbridge 2, Bilarek 0. And we've gone from losing our first three games of the season to winning our last three. So that's a um, really good turnaround. Really, really good performance. Really pleased with that. You know, the first half, we probably should have found the target a lot more than we did, but we were in control. All we needed to do was just find one or two goals to give us, give us those three points. More shots on target would have been better, but we did the job and we defended well as well, so it didn't really matter too much in the end. I think if we can get Lua hitting the target consistently, he can be our new reliable striker. Sam Bellis has um, got a couple of goals, but mostly been pretty poor. I feel like Greg Lewis can be our new Tommy Woods. If we can get him shooting a bit better, then hopefully he can, um, you know, get a bag of goals for us. But that puts us on positive goal difference and up to 11th place. So as far as recruitment, I think if we can find a good, cheap, left-sided player, then we'll definitely go for it. But I've, I'm happy with what we got. Um, so hopefully we can get some more results off camera. Maybe keep this winning streak going. We're on three on the bounce. We have the FA Cup qualifying match as well. Quite aptly, we're against a team called FC Romania. Consi considering I spent like 13 seasons in Romania on last year's FM, I think that's quite fitting and quite ironic. We're against a team called FC Romania. I looked into FC Romania a little bit. They were established by a guy called Jonas Vintila uh, in 2006. Uh, and the name sort of reflects um, the team. Because a lot of the team is uh, Romanian immigrants. So I think it's going to be a fun one. And, and, as I say, considering I spent over 10 years in Romania on FM21, I think it's quite fitting. They're in the 8th tier, so that should hopefully be a win. And we'll see how far we can get in the FA Cup. If we get to the uh, FA Cup proper, that would be amazing. But next episode, I think we're going to jump ahead probably to Chelmsford. There might be another FA Cup game in there. I'm assuming we get past FC Romania, which hopefully we will. I think we'll go away to Chelmsford next episode. And with three wins on the bounce, hopefully we can keep this going. And, you know, keep pushing towards those playoffs. We're going to try to get a repeat finish this season, get into another playoff, maybe get promotion. But I do think this is probably going to be our last season with Tunbridge. I do want to make that jump to professional pretty soon. And even if we get promoted to the National League, I don't think that's going to make us professional. So I do think that this will be our last season with Tunbridge, but let's try and make it a good one. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, drop a like down below and leave comments. The other best ways to support the channel. And if you haven't done so already, or if you're new, then do subscribe. Turn notifications on. The next episode, we're going to be taking on Chelmsford, who haven't started too well. They have four points from their first seven games. Uh, but hopefully we can get a result there. Get some more wins off camera and keep this streak going. We've got, got three on the bounce. Let's try and extend it and see how things look uh, next time we meet in about a month. But that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.